hello year of polygamy patreon subscribers it's me Lindsay Anson Park here with my good friend Christina Rossetti hey Christina Rossetti is not only a friend of mine she is a Gentile and a Catholic <laughs> and I have to say that a lot because we don't get a lot of Catholics in these parts the great apostasy the great apostasy some growing up we might have some would have thought it was the great whore of the earth How proud, does that make proud of that Proud of that? Proud I joined that. that thing. She joined that thing. But she's here now in Utah. She moved here from California. And now look at her. She's drinking dirty Diet Coke. I will get baptized in it. It's my Deseret dream. Yeah, she's living her Deseret dream. She's canning at my house on the weekends. I am. What else are you doing that's very Deseret? Um, hanging out in Warren Jeff's house. Have you with Lindsay made a Jello mold yet? Oh my gosh. I, I had jello salad for the first time where they put the cottage cheese and jello powder and call it salad. Did you do that this weekend? <laughs> I did do that this weekend. So one of the reasons I like hanging out with this girl is not just because she is here living her desert dream, studying Mormonism, which we'll talk about in a second. She is like me and hangs out with um, fundamentals a lot. We're running into each other, bumping into each other on compounds and ranches and... All kinds of places. So why are you doing this? Why are you from California studying Mormons? Uh, well, because if you've never met a Mormon, they're fascinating. Uh, so I study Mormons, and I'm interested in Mormons who talk to the dead. Um, I'm an ethnographer, so Mormons who do that right now. And looking at how they use the dead as a source of authority. So working on our dissertation, studying Mormons who study the dead, and I'm going to have her on and do a full-length podcast interview once her research is done, because she is hanging out with some interesting people you have access to groups that i don't even even have access to and including some like really secretive like lds um groups groups yeah so uh one of the groups that i want to talk about today is a group that i haven't spent a lot of time with we don't want to put this out publicly because it's still part of your research but she's agreed to do it for you exclusively um so it's the tlc group not tlc Sister Wife Show, not nope. the network. I wish. Nope. They're fun, but they're part of the AUB, which is a different group. This is TLC, the True and Living Church. Mm -hmm. Christina, why don't you tell us about them? So the TLC group, the True and Living Church of Jesus Christ in the Latter Days, is a group that started in the 1970s by a man named Jim Harmston. And, I, and he was LDS. He was LDS. Seminary uh, teacher? Seminary teacher, and I kind of refer to the group as what happened when people had study groups and it went awry in the eyes of the LDS. So we talked about this a little bit on the podcast already, which is study groups in the 70s, they were happening all over. It was people wanting to study the gospel, right? And so as the church is getting correlated, people are talking about these higher doctrines mm -hmm. at home, having home, home firesides, yeah. and Harmson was one of them, and of course... Wildly famously, successful. Well, the Lafferty brothers yep. did that too, okay. and as we know, that ended poorly, but mm -hmm. back to Harmston. So this one was wildly successful. Um, Tale as old as time, someone brings Truth Magazine, and all of a sudden, they're fundamentalists. That's what happens. And I don't know if, that, I don't know if it was specifically Truth Magazine, I don't, don't quote me on that, but um, they started studying um, higher doctrines, and they formed a fundamentalist group with Jim Harmston as their prophet. Um what is unique about the TLC group, and one of the most unique doctrines that they're kind of known for, is multiple mortal probations, or a MMP. what now? A what a now? Multiple mortal probation. Now, this turns out to be a very contentious yes. doctrine amongst a lot of fundamentalists. Multiple yeah. mortal probations, probations, and it's a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister, so we're going to call it MMP. Um, but it's contentious because a lot of groups are assumed to believe it and practice it, um, when in reality they wouldn't, or they at least wouldn't refer to it as MMP. Um, I gotta say that growing up LDS, I had heard the term before, mm -hmm. but not enough to even know what it meant. So obviously it's around in the discourse a little bit, but little what bit. does it mean to the Harmston group? So multiple mortal, pro mortal pro MMP is this belief system that the TLC group looks at um, Joseph Smith's teachings, as well specifically as Heber C. Kimball, who talk about having multiple mortal probations, that you have multiple mortalities in life. So um, in Mormonism, one of the terms for our life now is called a probation. Yes. And so we had our first estate or our first probation, mm -hmm. which was the spiritual world, and now we're in our second one, and this is more LDS doctrine. Right. Then you move into right. your third. Yeah, so this would be a little different. It would 
in layman's terms, be reincarnation. Um, the different, the key difference is that reincarnation would say that you can go into, you can be born again into any species or gender. MMP says you have to be born into the same species, same gender. So, like, I could be Sarah or Rebecca from the Bible, but I couldn't be Abraham. Right, and you would never be a random. It would always be someone cool. So I couldn't be, like, no. the unnamed person in the Book of Mormon. No. I have to be, like, a, someone important. Yes, you would, like... There like, would one be a, of air. There would be a King Arthur. No one's the Knights of the Round Table. Like, Got it. it it's, okay. It's usually important people. This is fun. I like this doctrine, Jim actually. Harmston was Joseph Smith. Yeah, okay, okay. So that So is that how he claims deal. his authority? Because he doesn't go through, like, the Mussers no. or the traditional line that a lot of fundamentalists right. do. Right. So he was not... He doesn't get key, his priesthood keys from any of the big-name fundamentalists from... Um, any time period. Uh, rather, he gets hit. What the reason I'm interested in him is, and his group is that much of their work deals with uh, looking to those on the other side of the veil who have passed as sources of legitimization. So people who have passed and are now on the other side of the veil and have come to him directly and offered him the priesthood keys in this time. So their group is communing with the dead mm -hmm. in. What you would see as the dead, but for them it's like spirits from right. different probations. And that's something in all of Mormonism that I've sure. found. Sure. Um, that you know, when we say, oh, Mormons who talk to the dead, that sounds that sounds like, no, we don't do that. But when you talk about, oh, communing with those on the other side of the veil, that's totally part of Oh, yeah, of no, it's still, I life. mean, we have a lot of stories in the LDS tradition of mm -hmm. people going to the temple and seeing dead relatives and Absolutely. things like that. So, so I, one of the big things is, Super Mormon. I it's do that. Super it's Mormon. Super Mormon. <laughs> um, so less Mormon is the idea of claiming to be Joseph Smith yourself. So how did Harmston right. figure out he's Joseph Smith? I have no idea. I thought wasn't it in the temple when he communes through the veil? So he gets his priesthood through a temple ceremony that he establishes with his wife. It is their in, part of their endowment ceremony that they um, created an altar in their home, and a lot of TLC members still have altars. Um, when I went down to Manti, I was fortunate enough to get to see. Jim Harmston's altar himself, like his altar, his altar. that he used when he was um, doing the endowment. And this is similar, when we say altar, it's like uh, reminiscent of the LDS right. temple altar, but it's in right. your house, which yes. is not uncommon in fundamentalism. No. So they don't have a temple, a functioning temple. They don't have an endowment house. Um, there used to be a TLC endowment house. Um, it is no longer functioning. Um, there have been a lot of splits in the TLC that we'll talk about at a different time or later, but... Um, and for that reason, the endowment house is no longer functioning. So a lot of members will have um, altars in their home and they will do an endowment ceremony. So an important thing to note, though, is Jim Harmston has died. Jim Harmston did die. He actually, fun fact, died the same day as Joseph Smith. I did not know that. Yeah. You know why? Same person. <laughs> okay, so according to their doctrine, is he headed towards another probation? So I, that actually depends. Um, there are members of the TLC that would that would possibly say yes, but there are members of the TLC that would say that he has attained exaltation. Interesting. Okay. So um, that's contested. But if you do go to Manti, you can go to the cemetery in Manti, and he is buried there. And his um, headstone is not his elaborate. His mortal husk is there. His mortal husk. It is not elaborate. It has his name, and it has a big H on it. Um, and it does say it, it's the day that Joseph died. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. So, well, which adds to the legitimization that he was Joseph. Now, of course the group is or as you factioned guys say it, out and Joseph. she, Joseph. Yeah, this is the thing. Apparently I say Joseph. Weird. Joseph. 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 Jo Joseph. How do you say it? Joseph. I don't hear it. Like how it's spelled. I legitimately don't hear it. Joseph. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so we'll talk later about the different factions because mm -hmm. there's, the group's sort of Many. fizzling out. I mean, from an outsider's perspective, that's what it looks like, but certainly. Yeah. I will say that in the majority group, I have heard that there are 50 people, which that's not tiny. No, it's like a good group like 50, of people. 50 for the main group and then the factions. I mean, if all the factions were to come together, I don't know how they're, how they're, how many there would be because I don't know how many factions there are, but that would be that's not something that we can know. But the majority group that still meets down there um, under the current leader of the TLC is 50 people. Cool. Okay, we'll talk more about it, but thank you, Christina. And thank you for subscribing to Patreon. And I don't know how to end these. I'm still learning 
So there's like a fancy, like I need a, let's, a tagline. Smash that like button. Is that what they say? Smash, Smash that, that like button. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, Subscribe guys. to Lindsay. Oh, but you know what oh, I do? Okay. This is what you could do for me. I want you to tell me and Christina who we are in our first probation. No First, duds. Can't be a boring person. I want to know all of the very interesting people that we were in our previous life. So, okay. Thanks. Bye.